This is not me. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's Justin's idea. He's my son-in-law. Nice enough, but, you know, he's... He's a... a Justin. <laughs> he took Lauren to Japan. Says they do it there. Sitting in a forest. Alone. Silent. Just... Well, just being there. He said I should try it. Mind you, he said I should try sushi too. I told him I like my fish battered with chips. But Lauren said it might help. So here I am. Sitting. Alone. Being. Better than sushi, I suppose. They have a special name for it. In Japan. They told me, but I can't remember. Should have written it down. Makes a difference, having a name for it. Makes it more or less. That's the problem with nature, the natural world, all this, trees, river, birds, plants, animals. I don't know the names. I mean, I know the basics. Cat, dog, rabbit, fox, David Attenborough. I know enough for the town. But here, here there's too much, too much, and I can't, I can't pin it down. This tree, nice tree, lovely star-shaped leaves, sun shining through them, but I don't know what it is. And that bird, the one with the weird song, a builder whistling at a passing woman and suddenly realising it's his sister. I can't place it. I can't place any of them. And it's like, like when we went rowing on the river and I lost an oar and Shona laughed. We'll just drift, she said. But I'm not good at drifting. What use is a single oar? When I was a kid, there was basically two kinds of trees. Good for climbing and no good for climbing. That was it. Nothing else mattered. The only thing you had to know about trees was not to trust a branch that couldn't take your weight. You didn't think of trees as nature, same way we didn't think of teachers as people. Shona would laugh at that too, if she could hear me. She was a primary teacher. She knew all the names, taught her kids them. They wouldn't be sitting here empty-mouthed. She could name things and make them sound like magic, a fairy tale. Red admirals, snake's head fritillaries, wood warblers. She said I name things to make them real, to anchor them. Carburetta, ball joint, stop cock. You can see why some folk thought we were an odd couple. She said we were a perfect pair. A book of poetry and a Haynes manual. I think it's going to rain. Rain. Where did that come from? French? German? I like the Germans. I like the way they make those big compound words. Engineered, solid, logical, like the cars. Rain's probably too short to be a German word. They construct one. Build from what they had. Rain would be, well, I don't know, cloud tears or something. But what if they didn't even have a word for cloud or tears? You have to make a name for them too. Sky sheep, face water. Then it would be look out. I think we're in for a spot of sky sheep face water. <sighs> Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just words. But words matter, I think. The right words matter. Matters that I can never find them. Shona said she didn't need to hear the right words because there were no wrong words, not if they were from the heart. She was always right. 
What's the word for that? Always right. Who am I going to ask? There's words for this too. I know there is. Lauren asks, but I can't give them to her. I can't say it's like a branch breaking under you or losing an oar. Or now. Near the end, we were in the garden. It was chilly, but Shona just wrapped herself in a blanket and gave me my orders as usual. She had me planting bulbs, dozens and dozens of them. Said she wanted me to look at the empty garden in winter and know that it wasn't always going to be like that. And she was right. She was always right. In Japan, they have 72 different seasons. Lauren bought me back a calendar. 72! All with different names. Brilliant names. First rainbows. Frogs start singing. Rotten grass becomes fireflies. You can just imagine some old Japanese guy coming up with those. What am I going to call this weekend? Oh, I. That's the frog started up. Let's go with that. Looks out a window. There's a rainbow. That'll do. And fireflies. Huh. Writes itself, doesn't it? From rotten grass. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Wouldn't bother him. That Japanese guy sitting here, not knowing. He'd just go for it. Make his own names. Just as good as the real thing. Better, probably. Because there are no wrong words. That tree would be a star tree. That bird, a builder bird. Those flowers, baby's eyes. That fish, a silver flash. That, a nosy parker. And a broken record. And custard drops, dogs' tongues, wedding hats. And this, these seasons, there'd be words. Names. Empty garden, ice on path, dark nights, first daffodils, grass needs cut, out without a coat, midges return, barbecue smoke, sound of bees, white legs in shorts, salmon leaps, rain on roses, and now, now, Looking for fireflies. Mm -hmm.